Eleanor brewed espresso, steamed milk, and told jokes as she prepared Franklin's latte. Frida tried holding her breath, chewing a piece of gum, and poking her abdomen, but she could not quiet her empty stomach, which growled during the unveiling of her painting. In the restroom, Winston combed his hair, lit a cigar, and took deep breaths, trying to work up the courage to walk to his first speech class. Tezo looked behind the toilet, in the laundry basket, and under the bed, but he could not find Godzilla, his 164-foot monster. Not only did Fonzie apply deodorant to his armpits, but he also brushed his teeth with special care because he did not want to offend Pinky with any unpleasant odors. For his first date with Cher, Jean bought not only a dozen condoms, but also a container of goulash. Not only did Cher squeal at the sight of the condoms, but she tore open the container and ate goulash all the way to the concert hall. Quint had to paddle past a school of guppies, kick a great white shark in the nose, and untangle seaweed from his harpoon rifle before he reached his favorite gin mill. Flying reptiles, howling wolves, and biting vampires fill the cages in Pugsley's basement. Neither the glares from her neighbors nor the disapproval of her husband will prevent Ethel from painting their house lime green with hot pink trim. Ethel will either add a flock of rubber chickens or purchase a family of sock puppets for the front lawn. Virginia has found that neither white noise nor whiskey shots make writing her novel any easier. Joyce looked under the bed, in the bathtub, and in her daughter's closet, but she could not find her favorite cone bra. After you eat fingernail salad from the local diner, not only will your intestines rumble, but you will also flatulate for hours from the generous addition of fructose. L.J. blinked her eyes, wiped her glasses, and squinted at the parchment. But she could not read the tiny words written on the ancient scroll.